Today, I thought I'd do a short video answering the question, is now a good time to purchase my first house? Let's get started. So oftentimes when people are thinking of buying their first house, they're a bit nervous, they don't know what to expect, and they have questions. Now, some of the things you need to consider when buying your first house are, number one, you need to look at your income situation. Because when you buy a house, you are going to be taking on a long-term commitment. This is not a short-term commitment. This is going to be a long-term commitment. If you'll be using financing to purchase your house, you're going to be in a long-term commitment. This is going to be a 15 to 30 year commitment in most cases. So one of the things you absolutely need to take into account is your income situation. What is your income situation like? Do you have a stable source of income? Now that could come from your job. It could come from a business. It could come from investments. Whatever your source of income is, you need to ensure that that income is stable and consistent. So relatively stable and relatively consistent so that you are comfortable making regular mortgage payments. Another thing you want to be looking at is your taxes. Have you filed your last two years of taxes? Because if you are to get a mortgage, you will need to verify that you have in fact been paying your taxes on a regular consistent basis and your taxes are up to date. You have to show at least two years worth of tax returns, which in turn means that you would have to show at least two years worth of income, stable, consistent, reliable income. Now, another thing that you, you need to assess when it comes on to deciding whether or not now is a good time to purchase your house is how much cash, how much money have you set aside? Do you have sufficient funds for a down payment as well as your closing costs? Now your closing costs are other costs associated with the purchase of your home and it includes things like your title fees. Um, it includes things like your lender's fees. It includes things like your appraisal fee. And those costs are things that you have to have available cash to cover if you're thinking of purchasing a house. The amount of cash that you need depends on the particular loan product or mortgage product that you are going to access. So the cash that you have, your savings that you have set aside for your down payment and your closing costs is going to be important. Another thing that you need to consider is the environment. What is happening around you? What is happening in the economy? Now let's talk a little bit about interest rates. Interest rates are currently on the rise. And because of this, there are several persons who have decided that they it's not a good time for them to buy. The thing about interest rates is that interest rates are always changing. Interest rates have been much higher than they currently are. Interest rates have been much lower than they currently are. What you should really focus on is your affordability. At the current rate of interest, are you still able to find a house that is affordable for you? Meaning, is the monthly payment that you're going to have to make when you get your mortgage is that affordable? Is that going to be something that you can afford? And if the answer is yes, you shouldn't allow the fact that interest rates have risen to deter you from buying your house. Now, if all other factors are in your favor, it's because the fact of the matter is that interest rates can go up as well as interest rates can go down. Now, if interest rates go up, and you have a fixed rate mortgage, then for you, that is excellent news because your interest will remain the same, your interest rate. If interest rates go down, then at that point, you may actually have the opportunity to refinance your mortgage. So 
don't allow interest rates alone to be a deterrent to buying your home now if all other factors are in your favor. As long as you are making your mortgage payments on a regular basis as agreed and everything else is equal, then you should be building equity in that property. Now guys, there's a saying that goes, don't wait to buy real estate, buy real estate and wait. There's always going to be a reason not to buy, right? And it, buying a house for the first time can be very scary. But if you assess the situation, you ask yourself, you look at these areas that I've touched on, look at your income situation, look at your stability, look at where you are in life. Do you have sufficient savings for a down payment as well as your closing costs? Are you in a position to demonstrate that you have a stable income, that you have been paying your tax returns, and do you have that cash to close? Another thing that you may want to look at is your credit, your credit history, your credit score, anything having to do with your credit, because if you're going to be needing financing for your purchase for your new home, your credit scores and your credit history is going to be very important. Now, depending on the type of mortgage, the type of financing that you get, the credit score requirement is going to change. Your, your credit score must be at certain different levels depending on the type of mortgage that you're going to be applying for. So if you have any credit issues at all, if, if your credit score is not in a good place, then those are things that you may need to address before you're actually ready to purchase your first home. So, and I'm not saying though that if you have any credit issues that that is necessarily going to stop you from getting financing, but it can be an issue. So that's another thing that you need to consider your credit. If you have further questions, you want to learn more about how to buy that first house, go ahead, contact me. I'll leave my contact details in the description box below or on the screen here somewhere. And you feel free to reach out. I will be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have about buying your first home. I am Keisha Metcalf from MVP Realty. See you next week. Bye bye.